We're used to never getting cool European cars in the US, but then Audi said the RS3 was finally coming here. That's good! But then, Audi said we'd only get the sedan and not the hatchback. That's bad. The Sportback is Audi's fancy pants way of saying that the car has a hatchback. And that's really the main difference between this and the sedan. More space out back. Compared to the A3 Sportback, the RS3 is wider and lower, with larger brakes and optional carbon ceramic units. Under the hood, both RS3s are exactly the same. The Sportback packs a 400 horsepower 2.5 liter inline 5. Mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, the hatchback will complete the sprint to 62 in just 4.1 seconds, which is pretty damn impressive. The top speed is limited to 155 or 174, depending on your preference. Since it's a new Audi, it's positively littered with technology. Virtual cockpit replaces the gauge cluster with a configurable flat screen, and a special RS-only mode displays torque output, G-forces, and tire pressure. More traditional technological creature comforts include an embedded 4G LTE modem with a Wi-Fi hotspot. The navigation features Google Street View integration, and you can also look up fuel prices through the infotainment system. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are along for the ride as well. Sadly, it will likely remain forbidden fruit. The order books open up in April, but just for Europe. Surprisingly, it's actually about $1,300 less than the sedan. I don't know what pisses me off more, the fact that we aren't getting it, or the fact that it's cheaper than the one that we are getting.